On the night of the 26th of October 2014, Senzo Meiwa was at his girlfriend's house in Foslogas, South Africa. There were several people in the house at the time, including his girlfriend Kelly Kumalo and her sister Zandi Kumalo. At around 8 p.m., two intruders broke into the house and shot Senzo Meiwa. He died shortly after from his injuries. But South Africa seems to be pointing only at one person, which is Kelly Kumalo. So why hasn't Kelly Kumalo been arrested as of yet? On the 26th of October 2024, it is going to mark almost 10 years since Senzo Meiwa was murdered. But still no justice for Senzo Meiwa. So, anywho, welcome to my channel. If you are new, please do not forget to hit the subscribe button, like the video, and also do click on the notification bell so that you are notified every time when I upload a new video. So, two days ago, I uploaded a video basically saying Kelu Kumalo is innocent, according to me. And that's my opinion, right? But no, people felt the need to tell me that I am wrong and that Kelu Kumalo should be arrested. So, I thought, let us go through this case i haven't been following the case i've only seen news here and there mostly through twitter and also i've watched the case here and there i'm just trying to say or highlight that i haven't been following the case through and through like some people i was not consistent so i thought let me go through the case in more details from the night sensor was killed also what the cops did when they got to the scene which is also very important. Senzo Meiwa also, before he died, let's discuss the fact that Senzo Meiwa was cheating publicly with Kelu Kumalo. Senzo Meiwa was married. That's also an important part. And hell have no fury like a woman scorned. So please do listen to the video if you are interested. If you are not, you are more than welcome to just click and leave. Because I saw some people saying that was the last time they'll ever listen to this channel. So I'm assuming they probably clicked on the uh, never recommend section there. But yeah, please do listen to the video if you're interested. If you are not, you are more than welcome. Um, so let's get back to it. So for those who don't know who Kelly Kumalo is, she is a South African singer, songwriter. She made her debut album in 2003 with her hit album TKO. Since then, she has released several additional albums, singles, establishing herself as one of the most successful female artists in South Africa. So Kelly Kumalo and Senzo Meiwa were in a relationship. Senzo Meiwa was born in Umlazi, South Africa and started playing soccer at a young age. He quickly became a star player and rose to fame as the captain of the South African national team. So on a newspaper article published by Daily Sun, Mandisa spoke to the publication and stated that, I know Kelly Kumalo loved my husband. So if you didn't know, Senzo Meiwa was married to Mandisa Mkiza and they had two children together. This added another level of complexity to the case as many people questioned why he was at his girlfriend's house at the time. So Mandisa shared how she and Senzo met and she said the following. Mandisa stated that at the time uh, she was a dancer for a lot of famous Guaido artists and Senzo was in grade 12 at Bupilo High School. Kelly only met Senzo between 2013 to 2014 at the Feathers Award. Kelly performed at this event and from that day Senzo could not keep his eyes off her. So the publication further quoted from Mandlazi Soweto's book about Senzo Meiwa and Mandisa's trials and tribulation throughout the marriage and also Senzo cheating on her multiple times, also going as far as cheating with one of Mandisa's friends. So she stated that Senzo Meiwa's parents also tried to warn Senzo to stop the relationship with Kelu Kumalo, but they failed. So Senzo's parents took Senzo to a traditional healer who warned Senzo that he is going to die. The scariest part was that the traditional healer was very detailed. He said, if you do not stop this, it will end with a gun. So Mandis also stated that she wasn't perfect in the relationship and that uh, they, her and Senzo, could have handled things much better than they did. And then she stated that when she and Senzo met, Senzo had nothing, yet when he had everything, he wanted Kelly Kumal. And then she said, and I quote, Where I am right now, I am happy, peaceful, and content after everything I've been through. So the book describes the late Senzo as one of the most humble people and a family man who also loved women. 
So the most recent allegations, uh, which were stated on the 25th of January 2024, is that Kelly Kumalo uh, has been accused of ordering Senzo Meiwa's murder in South Africa. In the aftermath of Senzo Meiwa's murder, there were many questions and conspiracy theories. Some people believe that the murder was a result of a robbery gone wrong, while others believe that it was a targeted attack. The case has been surrounded by controversy and speculations, and to this day, no one has been convicted of the murder. There's been a lot of speculations about the role of Kelly Kumalo and the other people who were in the house on the night of the murder. Some people have accused them of being involved in the murder, while others have defended them. The trial has been highly publicized and there has been a lot of speculations and debate about the case. The court has heard testimonies from a number of witnesses, including some of the people who were in the house on the night of the murder. There is a lot of evidence and testimonies that has been presented during the trial, so it is hard to summarize it all in a short space. However, some of the key pieces of evidence include the testimony of Dumelo Madlala, who was in the house at the time of the murder, the cell phone records of the accused men, which place them near the scene of the crime, the testimony of Kelly Kumalo and her sister, Zandi Kumalo, the physical evidence collected from the crime scene, including the gun that was used to kill Senzo Miyua. So here is a rough timeline of the events leading to the murder of Senzo Miyua. So on October 15, 2014, Kelly Kumalo and Senzo Miyua have a fight over the phone. October 26, Senzo Miyua is shot and killed in the home of Kelly Kumalo. October 27, Kelly Kumalo and her sister Zandi Kumalo have a conversation on WhatsApp about Senzo Miyua's death. On October 28, the police arrest five men in connection with the murder. So after 2014, a lot of new discoveries are made. And then the most shocking ones were in 2015. So 2015, around March, uh, the five men were formally charged with the murder of Senzo Meiwa. And then Zandilo Kumalo was also arrested and charged with defeating the ends of justice. And then the case of the five men was struck off court and they were released on bail. And then it was quiet for quite some time until... 2018 may so 2018 the case was reinstated and the men are rearrested so i'm guessing more evidence was linking the men to the case and then june 2018 the men are denied bail and the case is set to go to trial the five men accused of senzo Miyua's murder are muzika ukulelwa sibia bongani ntanzi mtobi simnube mtogo ziseni mapisa and sifiso kuhlenka nintuli all five men have pleaded not guilty to the murder. The trial has been marked by delays, including arguments over evidence and witness testimonies. The defense has argued that the case against the men is based on circumstantial evidence, that there is no concrete evidence linking them to the murder. However, the prosecution has presented a number of witnesses and evidence that they believe shows the men's involvement in the murder. One of the key pieces of evidence in the trial is the testimony of a man named Dumelo Madlala. Madlala was one of the people who was in the house on the night of the murder. He has testified that he saw two men enter the house and heard a gunshot, but he did not see who fired the gun. The defense has questioned Madlala's credibility and has argued that his testimony is not reliable. So what I've noticed is that we have two friends who have profited from the sad passing of Senzo Miiwa. We have Mandanzi Soweto, who wrote a book, who allegedly claimed that Senzo Miiwa's father gave him his blessing to write this autobiography about Senzo Miiwa. And then we have Dumelo Malala, who was part of the Netflix five-part docuseries, who also got paid a substantial amount by Netflix, and he did not want to disclose the amount that he made when he was cross-examined in court. There were also speculation and publications that stated that Kelo Kumalo made over 22 million from the Netflix docuseries about Senzo Meiwa, which she didn't even appear on. So Netflix decided to release a public statement saying the following, Netflix production company 1010 Film last year aired a docuseries on the murder before the trial got underway. The five-part true crime documentary series featured interviews with Meiwa's family, his friends, former Hawks head Shedrick Sibia and advocate Geria Nell. 
Kelly and Zandile did not participate in the docuseries, but snippets of their interviews with media outlets were used. Let us not forget that Madlala, who was Meyowa's childhood friend, was amongst the witnesses that were present when the former Bafana Bafana and Orlando Pirates goalkeeper was fatally shot on the 26th of October. So as we all know, uh, Madlala was part of a docuseries for Netflix and he was paid a substantial amount that he did not want to disclose. So during a cross-examination, he was asked by Muchololo how much he made and also uh, did he share with the family. And this is what he said. Uh, disclaimer, Madlala also made money from selling pictures of him and Senzo when they were younger. So during the cross-examination, Madlala was asked whether he shared the money he received from Netflix with Meiwa's mother and wife, Mandisa, to assist them with their living expenses. Since he considered himself as Senzo's best friend, Madlala said in response, I don't think I was supposed to do that. I think that Senzo's family was supposed to support her, not me. I did not share the money with them because it was my money. So a lot of people found it shocking that Madlala was capitalizing out of the death of his best friend, alleged best friend. So the advocate, Machololo, stated that uh, the manner in which Madlala was behaving after the death of Senzo Meiwa is shocking. She said, and I quote, you received the money from Netflix and did not share it with the family or his children, with whom did you share the money, she said. And then Madlala remained adamant that the picture he sold belonged to him. He said there was no reason for him to share the money with anyone. Madlala also added that the relationship between him and Senzo Meiwa's parents had been strained after Senzo's death. So this is another disclaimer. The trial has been marked by several delays and disruption. In October 2020, the trial was postponed until February 2021 due to COVID-19 pandemic. Since then, the trial has been delayed multiple times due to various factors, including the unavailability of witnesses and the retirement of the judge who was originally proceeding over the case. In September 2020, the case was adjourned until May of 2023. During this time, one of the accused men, Sifiso Nduli, who was being represented by Zandile Ntololo, died in prison. So one of the most controversial aspects of the trial is the allegations that Kelly Kumalo was involved in the murder. The defense has argued that there is no evidence to support the claim and it is based on speculations and rumors. They have also argued that the prosecution has unfairly targeted Kumalo and that she has been subjected to unfair media coverage and public scrutiny. So I'd like to end the video here, but before that, I want to list some of the evidence that was presented against Kelly Kumalo. And if this video does well, I'll create a part two. But yeah, uh, the first one is the text messages between Kelly Kumalo and Zandile Kumalo, which allegedly suggested that Kelly Kumalo knew the accused. And then there was the cell phone records, which allegedly shows that Kelly Kumalo was in contact with the accused around the time of the murder. And then there's the testimony from a security guard who allegedly saw Kelly Kumalo with the accused at the house where the murder took place in Foslaras. And then there's the testimony from a witness who allegedly heard Kelly Kumalo and the accused arguing before the murder took place. And also there's new allegations. One of the accused said Kelly Kumalo is the mastermind behind uh, the murder of Senzo Meiwa. Uh, and also that Kelly Kumalo allegedly had four cell phones or cell phone number numbers um yeah there's a lot but i will talk about it in detail specifically about all the charges against kelly kumalo and so the allegations that she knew the people who murdered senzo and she was communicating with them so yeah please let us know what you think on the comment section about this and do not forget to like comment share and subscribe thank you